everybody, Syntax77 here, and today I want to do a quick video to address some questions and comments that I've been getting following my recent PEMI loop video in which some of the viewers noticed that I switched out my suspension system for my Hennessy hammock. And I didn't go too far into detail, but I did show a couple times that I've got this new cinch buckle suspension system on my hammock, which you can see is attached just out of frame there. And prior, I was using, especially in the winter, the Python straps by Kamek along with two carabiners by Black Diamond. These are Black Diamond Neutrinos. And this was a very good system. So people have been asking, hey, what gives? Why did you ditch the Kamex? Uh Was there anything wrong with them? Or even so far as to say, man, you made them look cool. I bought them. Now you're on this other system. Did I waste my money? Well, quick answer to that. Absolutely not. The Kamek Python straps system rocks. Nothing wrong with it at all. There's advantages to the cinch buckle, which I'll get into, but it's still a great system. It's just that, you know, my job or my hobby, whatever you want to call it, is to check out different systems and share that with you, the viewer, and then you can make decisions. If you got the Kamex, rock on, keep using them. In my case, I decided time to experiment. So when I was looking around, I found these. And there's various vendors you can get these from. Um, it's simply a webbing strap with about a 1,500 pound weight rating on it. And then a small cinch buckle and some amp steel in a loop that's attached to my Hennessy hammock. I got mine from Dutchware Gear. Uh, the customer service and the quality over there is awesome, so I, I just kept going back. That's why I got these. Now, quick advantages. What, what drew me to this right off the bat? All right, number one, Kamek Python straps, total. All the weights I'm gonna talk about are total for the pair. So this is one of the straps right here. Both the straps together, 12 ounces, then you got both the carabiners together, two and a half ounces. Total system weight, 14 ounces for the Kamek. And it's got a 10 foot reach, that's important to note. 10 foot reach per strap, 14 and a half ounces for the system. Over here, I got 15 feet of reach, each strap 15 feet. And the total weight, when I switched it out on here, was 10 and a half ounces. So right off the bat right there, quarter pound weight savings, and that's with about 50% more reach or ability to go around wider trees. Sometimes you might say, oh, I'm not gonna hang 30 feet apart, but it's not necessarily about that. It's if you have a larger trees in your area, you're gonna waste or use more strap to go around that tree, right? So for your area, you kind of decide how much strap you wanna bring. I wasn't having a problem with 10 foot straps, but hey, I'll take the 15, and if I want to, I can cut this down, and then I can shave probably another two ounces. Then we'd be looking at like a six ounce weight savings for this system over here. Quick note on installation. Okay, I won't get too far into it, but basically you're just gonna cut the clip. You can see I already replaced mine. Cut the clip on your, in my case, uh, Hennessy. Pull that back out of the way, and you're gonna expose the original rope. You know, this stuff that came on it, which by the way, when I took this off, because I was still using it with my Kamex, I just didn't want to do any permanent change or damage. Both of these together saved me five ounces to take them off, because didn't need that anymore. Saved another five ounces there. Then you just take the continuous loop that uh, Dutch rigs up already for you, and you just kind of Lark's head it, well, wrap it around here, pull it through itself, and you're good to go. You can see that's pretty simple and secure. Then you just slip this sucker back on, put a new wire tie through there, and your new clean professional looking cinch buckle system is ready to go. The price is about identical. You can go on Dutchware and you can buy all the components separate or he makes it real easy. You just tell him what kind of hammock you have. There's a slight difference in length for the Hennessy or if you have another version. And I think it came to around 40 bucks, 30 something dollars, uh, no more than 40 and the Kamek Pythons are 40 bucks as well. Now, let me point out another advantage that beyond weight savings, I've noticed a lot as I've used these. Notice how this has this webbing, very strong, and it's stitched every, I don't know, what is that, about four inches or so? All right, so you take your carabiner, you may have seen the videos, and you clip it on there, and if that's not quite tight enough, 
then, all right, we'll go up one. Actually, I have it backwards. You notice all the loops are only at one end, and then you get one over here. So I guess we'll go off on a tangent, but you go around the tree, and then put this through the hole there, and that's how you tighten up with this system. So you cinch it down on the tree like that, then you got your loops. All right, so back to the loops. Pick the loop that works for you. If that one doesn't work, then you can jump up four inches to this one, or this one. Now, the point I'm making is everything is in four inch increments. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but I'm telling you, when you're trying to get that perfect hang, that perfect amount of tension, that nice 30 degree angle, uh, yeah, four inch increments can be a little weird to work with. You might be stretching for that last loop, or you might just settle on a loop that's just a little too lax. All right, not the end of the world, but that is something that happens with the Kamex or any system that has loops. With the cinch buckle system, pull this a little closer, what you're going to get is, this is made out of aluminum by the way, weighs about eh, an ounce and a half, ounce and a three quarters for the pair of them. Um, that little locking mechanism there and just a square of aluminum. You adjust however you want, down to the millimeter. You can get precise as you want. There's no loops to mess with. Once you get it where you want it, some people put a safety knot in there, some people don't. Either way, once you get it where you want it, you got a little weight on the hammock because it's hanging in the air. Once your body weight gets in there, it really locks in. And you're exactly where you want to be. So when it comes to fine tuning, I'm finding this system to be a lot more friendly. This isn't the end of the world over here, but if, if I was only going to buy one, and I'd start over, I'd just go with the cinch buckles. A little lighter, a little more customizable because you can pick the strap length that works for you and it's no big deal. If you mess around, you can cut this stuff up. I wouldn't start cutting that up, right? Um, actually, right on Dutch's site, or I'm sure other sites as well, but right on Dutch's site, I went and bought some cool camo webbing. I got like 50 feet here or something like that so I can experiment with all different strap lengths. If I'm going down south, maybe I want one strap length. If I'm going up north, I take another. I can buy this stuff for, uh, I think it was like 70, $70 now. It was like seven bucks for every 25 feet. So I've got some, a little more DIY application. It's just fun. So these over here, am I like throwing these out or something? No, I'm trying to get my wife into hammock camping. So that's why it's another justification for me to slowly build and tweak these systems because any spare stuff I have just means that I can have another system for my wife to go, including coming soon, a whole nother hammock. Then I'll have two. His and hers. So, hope that answers some of your questions. That's why I went with the um, new system. It's not because there's anything wrong with that one, but I'm just always trying to experiment. I'm going to point out one more thing to you. Get this out of the way so we focus. I also have on here Dutch clips. All right. You don't have to do this. You can see on here there is a loop. Okay, there's a loop on one end. And this actually, with the DIY, I'd have to do that myself, but. This, when you buy the kit from Dutch, it already comes with the loop and everything set up and ready to rock. Um, you could just slip, just like that other system, slip it through there, you know, through the bunny hole and do it that way. Or for about six grams a piece, perhaps seven grams a piece, you can get these titanium clips. And this may seem like, eh, what's the big deal? But it is pretty cool. You go around the tree and then you just clip it on. You can adjust the exact width of the tree, line this up, you're good to go. You don't have to thread anything through. You don't have to take your straps off of the cinch buckle. Seems like a small thing, but it's pretty convenient. I found it to be. Also, if there's branches on the tree and you're sliding up and down, you'd have to take that whole loop system off over there. With this, I unclip really quick, go up around over top the next branch, Reclip all the while I'm holding the whole uh, hammock in my left or right hand just over to the side. Reclip with the other hand, and I'm good. Hammock never even touches the ground. I don't curse or yell. Everybody's happy and sleeps well. So, those are the Dutch clips. So, you kind of got a little uh, tutorial, I guess, on um, cinch buckles, Dutch clips, and uh, whatnot out of this video as well. At least I hope you did. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. I love both systems, but I love this one just a little bit more. So, that hopefully answers that question. Till next time, I'm Syntax77, and you have fun out there.